Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. So, we just actually made some pretty okay progress. We do have food as our recurring issue, but we're going to be making a crock pot to try to remedy that in just a moment here. All we need to do is get a lot of rocks, which are thankfully pretty abundant here. And just head over and do the same for this one here. Oh, broke that. And how many do we need? Two more for the crock pot. There we go. So now we just have to head over to our science machine here. Put that together there. And we are going to have to just eat that. Okay, see what else we can make for food. So we could make fish farms, actually. All we need are a couple more rope. And maybe what we'll do is get some bamboo. And make ourselves another trawl net. That and that. We can plant the seeds for a new crop. Okay, where's trawl net? Just need the three rope now. Oh, and more seeds that we can start the farm with. There we go. Okay, so we will have to take the sail off, but we can put down the trawl net instead. Uh, we won't go after any of that. Let's see. Yeah, mussels don't really show up on the map, so... I have to just do some... Ooh, actually, you know what I'll do is I'll go after those jellyfish that were up here. Because there was a big cluster of them last time we went. Now we can always stop by... Actually, we'll even stop by our first island to get all the grass that was on there. Because that should be about ready to go now. Get you and you... There we go. And maybe we'll try one more jellyfish. And some mussels. Yeah, we're running. Okay, so that's the net filled. Oh, we did get a piece of coral, so that's good. Because coral, I think, might be one of our more essential building blocks. There we go. Okay, so with all that together... Yeah, we'll come back to our this island that we started on and just get all the grass we can, because there was just so much of it here. And sticks. Doesn't hurt to get everything stocked up that we can that's readily available. Oh, if I was smart, I'd actually make a shovel and bring this all back, but I just want to make sure... 
you can kind of get back no problem. Oh, right, the snakeskin sail I can also put on the boat again, and we can just use that. I wonder if you could use the... Tr well, it might be a waste of a trawl net, but I was thinking using that to go over all the grass that was by the water beefalo. And just kind of scoop that all up, but you'd only probably get nine for it. I think I'd rather save it for getting stuff like the jellyfish or the mussels. Well, we can also get all these berry bushes that are back. This island had a number of them in stock, if I remember. Yeah, one right here. Well, we'll have to make a torch while we're out here, but that won't be very hard to do. Yeah, so we're almost at up to 40 more grass. Perfect. Oh, and it's a full moon night, so we don't have to worry about it getting dark on us. We can keep going the entire night. So it looks like maybe every ninth night there might be one. I don't think we made it to... We didn't quite make it far enough in the last playthrough to get up to... What you probably would have needed for it. Kind of hoping we could stagger these out. Well, maybe we can. There we go. And we'll smack you. Yeah, that's right. Come on. We'll take all the resources you're willing to give us. Why not? So I think with that, we'll make our way back to our first island. But maybe what we'll do is... Ah, we'll keep those alive for now. I don't know if we have any use for the jellyfish, aside from cooking or not. And it did it make our way on down. I don't know what I want to do next for or what our next big goal is. We got ourselves pretty well fed, which is good. Oh, I think I gotta Yeah, I think that's our proper way of how the setting was. So our boat is Oh, actually, yeah, that's the way I have it, so I'm going the complete wrong way. It's so easy to get the entire map spun around on you sometimes. Well, that again. There we go. Eat that. Evil flowers, we don't really care about that. That was an aspect I never got too much into with Don't Starve, because I wasn't entirely sure or understood how it worked, was the, uh... The sanity stuff. Okay, almost back to our... Ooh, those are useful. 
So maybe what we'll do... We'll just eat that up quick, as a little s extra snack. And maybe we'll even murder these guys, because I can't think of anything else we'll quite use. No, 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 no. Gonna have to use the boat repair kit on that. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. There we go, sail right on through these guys. Wonder if there's a stronger boat you could make too. Because this is just a rowboat, is there... Maybe the sea lab is what would have it. I know how to get sand, the limestone though I don't. And just before we do make landfall, we might as well get as much as we can. There we are. A nice shoal of fish, which we sh could try fishing from. Okay, let's put some stuff in the crock pot proper. We'll cook that, harvest these. Try to get some more seeds. There we go. And maybe what we'll do is we'll even try making that improved farm as well. Oh, let's get that. That, and that, and one of those. There we go, cook that up. So just need more seeds. Nope, you don't have... Oh, there are some. That... Eat that, 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 and that, and cook that. Some more seeds in there. That will go off. Okay. Just need to find another thing of seeds if I can. Then we can plant those, and we have all of our farms ready and on the go. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. So that's all of our farms with something in them. Now let's grab our axe and start chopping some of these trees down. Take those. And uh, there's our axe again. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. And put the venom glands in there. Put those in there. Chop this down. I also gotta make a shovel and just get all those. Ah, do 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 do. Oh yeah, I gotta prototype it first, I believe. Yeah, there it is. 
And there's my spear to take that out. Oh, another full moon knight. Okay, where's the shovel? There it is. Pot up, put another bit in. Yeah, keep digging up these trees here if we can. Let's plant this one way down here. Oh, we can. Oh, come. That's the one thing I hate with the don't starve is how you have to use the mouse to click and interact on so many things. It just feels weird with how the isometric kind of perspective works on it a bit. Okay, let's make another chest. Okay, in this one, silk can go in there. The glands can go in that one. Coral will go in there. Charcoal ash is gold doubloon. Might as well load the spear gun up. So there are tools. The boards can go in. And the torch right there. That should be good like that. So I think all we're really going to do is keep trying to get more wood. Because logs are probably the most tedious thing to gather and don't starve. Because of how many swings it takes for your axe to get a tree down. And even then, you only get like four logs if you're lucky. Oh! I think that's a poisonous snake. Glad I actually took the time to load the spear gun up for that one. Plant that, plant that. Take out the shovel, dig that up. There we go. And let's see, plant that one there, that one down there. Uh, you got anything? You do! Some gold doubloons, perfect. I think we're one away from getting us another gold. Okay, let's stand beside this and see what I want to make. Any other tools? Ah, uh, the razor! I guess we can do that, just to trim ourselves up a bit. I don't know what the beard hair actually does. Ah, to do fires. I don't think there's any fires really there we need to worry about. Nautical stuff. Might not be bad to get a cargo boat. An armored boat, an encrusted boat. The armored one might not be bad, so that's what seashells can be used for. We got the sail already. Cannon, the sea trap. We could actually make that if we want. So maybe that's one we'll keep in mind. Oh yeah, we still need to get you some more food, because these are taking their time, aren't they? We used to be able to kind of supplement ourselves with the traps on our island, but I don't think we'll have that same option. Uh, let me make a new machete, and we'll take down... Oh, come on, you. There we go.
Yeah, we're probably gonna have to figure out another little thing. Oh, the fish farm. That's what we might be able to do. Well, let me chop down these trees so that way they're not in the way of us always using our camp. You can go right there. Chop down this one next. Now, what is with all you guys being poisonous now? Well, there. Get those out of the way. Ah, where's the shovel? Plant that down there. And looks like just... Maybe a couple more to take down. There we go. There's something else we can put into the crock pot. And another snake. Last tree to have to take down, then we should have most of the camp basically up and in order. Or at least completely exposed, so that way you can easily see what we're doing. Let's plant that there, that there, take out the shovel and start digging these up. And there was another thing at gold doubloon, so we'll snag that. Ooh, this might be interesting. I'll have to come back down here in the morning, because that's going to be a lot of goodies that they're making open for us. And a crock pot, we'll put that in and cook that. Oh, sounds like something might be coming after us. Uh, where's our spear gun? Just gotta wait for the day to come towards its end. Oh, actually, I'll refine that into another gold nugget. That's a couple we got now. So what do we need for the fish farm? Coconut, silk, and rope. Oh, well that's all simply very easy to get. In fact, let's get ourselves not quite 10 pieces of rope, but we'll go down till maybe we get 21. Ah, well, there we go. Like that. Oh, and we can harvest that. I wonder what would happen if we put the monster meat in, if we can find some. Oh, well, there's a silk at least. I don't know. Oh, let that save. We'll... Oh. Now, speaking of monster meat, this might be it right here. Ah, maybe not. Oh, another spider gland. Snake skin.
tidal pond, so we may actually be able to catch fish out of there using a fishing rod, too. Yeah, so we'll have a lot of options for keeping ourselves going. But we are getting a little close to the end of this episode. Just while I'm down here, and just for a little outro while I say myself out, I'm just going to collect a bit of bamboo and seeds. I want to thank you guys very much for spending uh, another episode with me, along with Don't Starve Shipwrecked. I think this is going to stay one of our main series going for quite a while. Don't Starve has always been one of the most well-known and very well-done survival games out there. And I figure it's just a good way to keep to the theme of what the channel is more about looking into, getting in-depth with things. Just having some fun and showing off the gameplay a bit. So, I'll get this last piece of bamboo, and I'll start up for camp. And once we get up there, I think we'll look at what we'll do next. I think the fish farms are probably going to be what we'll try aiming for. Just because food is becoming a very big problem for us, with only... Ooh, a mush tree. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Probably not. There's not a lot in Don't Starve that you can say is a good thing. Ah, can I put this anywhere? I'll put that in there, that in there. Perfect. Okay, survivors. So until the next time I see you, remember as always to please take care and stay alive.